Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 4.2 and I wanna show you how to run your games off of a USB stick or a USB hard drive. Now RetroPie, the operating system itself, will still be on your SD card, but this will allow you to transfer the games that are already here to a USB stick and add more just by taking your USB, plugging it into your PC and adding more games that way. Let's go ahead and get started. It's really simple to do. We're going to go to RetroPie, RetroPie Setup. Make sure you're on version 4.2 or higher. If you are not, basic install. It's going to take a little while, but it will update you to the latest version. We're going to go to Configuration and Tools. Scroll down until we see USB ROM service. Click OK. You want to enable USB ROM service here. Now that that's enabled, we're going to go back to the PC. We're going to format our USB stick FAT32. We can plug it into the Raspberry Pi, reboot one time. All of the games that are on our SD card will automatically transfer over to the USB stick, and we can start adding more and more. I'm going to be using a 128 gigabyte USB 3.0 stick. And I'm also going to show you how to do it with a 32 gigabyte or lower. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how to format your USB stick. It needs to be formatted FAT32 with Windows 7 up to Windows 10. There's no problem formatting within the stock formatter as long as the card is 32 gigabytes or under. You can right click on the card, format, and you want to choose FAT32. We're going to start the format, make sure it is FAT32. Yes, it's going to format my 32 gigabyte USB stick. Now I'm going to open that one back up, 32. Inside of here, we just need to create a folder. So we're going to go new folder and we're going to rename it RetroPie mount. That's it. So Windows 10 cannot format a 64 gigabyte or higher card to FAT32 by itself. If I go to my 128 USB 3.0 drive here and I try to format it, I'm only gonna get these two options. Something weird about Windows, but there is an application that will do this for us. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you. It's called GUI Format. Go ahead and open it up. You need to be very careful when using GUI format. As you see, when I drop down, it shows me every drive in my PC. So you need to make sure you are choosing the USB stick and nothing else. That's why I renamed mine 128. 128 gigabyte USB. All I'm going to do is click start. OK. It's going to format it FAT32 for me. We can close that. Find that drive, right click, new folder. That's all we need to do. Now we can take your USB stick, place it in the Raspberry Pi, reboot one time. Now it's gonna take all of the games that are already on your SD card and transfer them over. It will also leave them on the SD card so you can go back and delete those later if you want to. It's good to have a light on the USB stick. That way you know when it's done. We're going to move over there right now. I'm going to place my USB stick in there for a little while, and we're going to come back, place it in my PC, and we'll be able to access our ROMs, BIOSes, splash screens folder from the USB. All right, I'm back at the Raspberry Pi. I put my USB stick that we just created into my Pi. I'm just going to press start, quit, and I'm going to restart the whole system. Yes. While I'm waiting for everything to finish transferring up, I'm just going to show you the games I do have. I have some Atari 2600 games, some Atari 78, some regular Game Boy games, Neo Geo, NES, and I have some Super Nintendo games. So I don't have that many games. I'm pretty sure my USB drive is done transferring all of my ROMs. 
If you have a ton of games, you may need to wait it out for a little while. There's no real way to tell if everything is transferred over. Now that my games are done, I'm going to move back to the PC. I'm going to place this USB stick into my PC, show you what RetroPie is transferred over. Then we're going to add some more games to the USB stick, come back, reboot the Pi, and you'll see those new systems and new games on the main menu. So here we are. Here's my 128 gigabyte drive, RetroPie mount. I'm going to open it up. We have our BIOS folder, RetroPie menu, ROMs, splash screens. We'll go into ROMs, and I showed you I had some Atari 2600 games, some 78, Game Boy, NES, Neo Geo, and SNES. I'm going to take some new games for Game Boy Color and FBA and put them on the USB drive. So we'll go to FBA. I'll open my FBA folder up with my games. I'm just going to place them on the USB. I'm going to do the same with Game Boy Color. We'll find Game Boy Color here. And I'll place these on the USB stick. So now when we move back to the Pi, we're going to place the USB stick back in the Pi, reboot one time, and FBA and Game Boy Color should show up. All these ROMs will be running from the USB stick. So I place my USB stick back in the Pi. We're just gonna scroll through, show I show you we don't have Game Boy Color or FBA just yet. Press Start, scroll to Quit, and Restart Emulation Station. Yes. If I'm lucky enough, I should have FBA and Game Boy Color on my main menu. There's FBA and Game Boy Color. These are all running from the USB drive now. You can go ahead and scrape them if you want to. I had already scraped the games that were on my SD card, so it transferred everything over for me. Game Boy Color. So that's pretty much it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. This is a really cool way to get around having a 128 gigabyte SD card if you're using a ton of games. You could use an 8 gigabyte SD card and use a 32 gigabyte USB stick for all of your games. One of the other cool things about this is it's transferable. So if we take that USB stick and put it in another RetroPie system, enable the USB ROM service, those ROMs will show up on your new image. Like always, thanks for watching.